Hi all, it's gonna be a second part of our to-do list and today we're gonna add uh, a drag and drop functionality. For this we're gonna use uh, HTML5 standard events. So if you didn't see the previous part for to do app, take a look, you're gonna see here a link to the video. So stay with me and let's do it. Okay, let's start working on our drag and drop. First of all, what we need to do is define which item is draggable. For this, we're gonna use a special HTML5 property, draggable, that we set to true. And with this property, we mark our Lee item as draggable, so we can use it for drag and drop. Also, we're gonna need here a drag item class for our special purposes. We need it to detect that it's the right item for drag and drop. True. Also, when we open an element to our list, we need to do the same. So here we have our flex row class and drag item and our element link will be draggable. We also set property to true. The second thing that we do is on our to do this app class we need add few event listeners. The first one will be drag start here we use event property to add for our event target plus list new class and we by this class we will find out when our drag event is over we find out which item was drag we like drag element and we will know which item we need to put in new position also when our event is over drag end we need to remove this class so we're doing almost the same but just to remove it event target of list remove drag both elements with this thing we already can see some action. By draggable true property we see that our element can move here but also by our two events draft start and draft end we can see that we mark our lee as draggable element and when this event is over we remove this class. The next thing that we need to define, we added another event listener for drag over event. This property we need to catch the right moment when event is over on our list. First thing here we need to do is event event default to do the our custom sorting position etc. 
the next scene is that we in here it's defining our elements so drag element element equal document create selector and we're gonna look for this element So here we're gonna have our draggable element. The next item is gonna be our current element. The element under or over each our event finish. So for example, in this case, it's gonna be second item. In this case, the first one. Event. Okay. The next thing that we need to understand if do we need even to do something. So for example, if we finish our event on our item, that we doesn't need we don't need to do anything in this case. So we're gonna define here another property from sort for example equal set drag element of equal current element and uh, current element plus list contains drag Here we're gonna have if then we're doing return. So if we finish like if drug event over happen on the same other element that we draw, then we don't need to do anything in this case. This checking for this. Drop comment. Okay. Then we need to find out next element. So what does that mean? Before which we gonna put our soft our move like draggable element. So for example in this case it should be element two, in this case element one. This we can define here next element equal current element equal drug element next element simply. This is true. Then our next element will be uh, current element, next element signal, or just current element. And here we do need to do list insert before. We need to insert our uh, drug element before next. Take a look. You can see. It's already broken. Also for our new item, let's check. New item, we can do the same. Let's do some enhancement. What we need to do, as you can see, right now our event happened in any place. 
but what we need to define is that our mouse is on the middle of the next element so our event uh, happen just when our mouse will be over the middle line of element for this we're gonna define another function here next element equal position and current element. Here's what we're gonna do. Mm. We're gonna retrieve current element coordinates by special function so with this function we can receive our item coordinates then We're gonna find out with the center of our current element. So what is going to be? For example, our current element is this one. So the position for y is going to be this one. And is this element a divided by 2 plus uh, y coordinates. And by this we're going to find out the coordinates for the middle line of this element. And next, we're going to define here next element equal so for position less than current um, center in this case we're gonna do current element if no then current element next Here we're gonna actually we can return this single like this. And here where our function our next element we set it next element So we define our function get next element. So let's set it set to this condition. Set get next element. And here we gonna provide event client y coordinates for console position and current element then we need this statement to know even do we need to do something so for this we're gonna check next element and 
dark element equal next element previous element three. or the element equal next element. In this case, this didn't need to be anything. Here, so this will stay on on place. So let's check. This type client bound or small error Let's check. As you can see right now our event triggers when our mouse is over the middle of the item let's check oh. let's try to create a new item Everything is perfect. We just finished with our drag and drop event for our to do app. So, right now it's possible to drag and sort elements. I really enjoy doing it. If you have the same feelings as me, you can uh, leave a comment, put like or dislike, even subscribe. And see you in the next videos.